Hey guys, Gabriel here from Serial Killers. We are at the Gamescom in Cologne at the Xbox Showcase and I got Adam Fletcher here from Coalition. Yep. Uh, so we're going to talk about, you guessed it, Gears of War 4. Uh, so maybe the first question, uh, we played the single player. Uh, could you go a bit into detail in the story? Sure. You? Yeah, not a problem. So uh, we're 25 years after the events of Gears of War 3. Uh, we're still in the world of Sarah. Uh, Sarah has most definitely changed a lot because, uh, at, uh, spoiler alert here with Gears of War 3, the emulsion device goes off at the end of the game and the locust ends up uh, essentially being completely destroyed and all of emulsion from the, war the planet of Sarah has actually disappeared. Um, what's kind of interesting is that, you know, lots of people die during, the, during that whole, the whole fight throughout the first few games. Um, so you're now finding that um, there's the cog is they're trying to repopulate the world. They're they're keeping things a little bit more secure. There's another faction called the Outsiders who are um, kind of kind of different in, in regards to that. They don't believe exactly into what the cog um, wants to do, but the, and they don't live in their settlements as well. And you'll be kind of like taking part in their story as well um, as you're you're playing through Gears 4. Um, there's this new threat though that is appearing on the world of Sarah, and you are now in the role of uh, JD Phoenix who's the son of Marcus Phoenix um, from the original series, and uh, his couple friends, uh, Kate and uh, Del, uh, who are, happen to be his two best friends. And uh, you'll end up going through your own, figuring out exactly what this new threat is that's kind of kidnapping and taking people um, uh, throughout the world of Sarah. Okay. Um, so maybe uh, could you go into detail with the new weapons of the game? Uh, what are you going to introduce in the new game? Yeah, sure, most definitely. So um, actually in this demo here, we actually had two new weapons that we kind of showed off. Uh, one of them is called uh, the Buzzkill, uh, and the other one is called the Drop Shot. They both look like almost construction type of weapons because over the past 25 years, Sarah's been kind of under construction again. A lot of uh, a lot of the, the, the weapons that uh, you'll, you'll end up using are, are weapons that are kind of repurposed construction tools uh, just because no one's really needed to kill anyone beforehand so uh, you'll find uh, with the buzzkill it actually shoots off these uh, um, uh, buzzsaw blades that can actually ricochet off of cover and so you can kind of hit uh, enemies as they're kind of sitting behind cover um, by bouncing them off the walls and so forth and then on top of that we have uh, the drop shot the drop shot actually sends this like explosive uh, mining drill onto enemies and you can kind of fire them off and guide them with the laser pointer and they'll end up hitting down onto enemies and exploding. Uh, they're both incredibly awesome um, and those are only two of the multitude of new weapons that we're including. Um, just a couple weeks ago we revealed uh, uh, some new weapons that are related to a, a robot faction as well, or, or some robot enemies as well called um, the DBs um, and they have you know kind of like pulse cannons and so forth incorporated with their weapons that people also experience. And uh, can you go into detail with the modes like uh, offline co-op? Uh, sure. What's you in Gears of War 4, what's going to feature? Yep. Yeah. So, um, of course, Gears is going to have campaign mode, which is what you played here. Uh, we actually announced uh, a brand new Horde mode back at E3 called Horde 3.0. Um, it's it's a revamped Horde, and there's a lot of new features, and we're actually going to go into more detail about it here in the next month. Um, and then we have our, our Versus mode. Our Versus mode is, is similar to, to all the previous Gears games, but we have a lot of different different uh, different types of playlists in there, including you know Team Deathmatch and uh, Dodgeball, which is brand new to, to the whole Gear series that we ended up having in our beta. Uh, and then we also have Escalation, which is also a brand new eSports competitive mode. Um, on top of that, players can actually do versus against co-op bots. So if you have friends and you don't want to go against like other people that, are, that might completely wipe the floor of you or something like that, you can practice against bots, which is brand new to the Gear series, and it's something that we never had before. There's a whole ton of different things, especially in the versus multiplayer that we plan on introducing in the Gears that are, are new or familiar from, from people people that may actually enjoy some of the, the older modes like King of the Hill or Team Deathmatch. Can you go into detail with the development process like uh, you changed uh or uh, the development changed from Gears of War 3 to 4 with uh, the stu studio and stuff like that? With Gears of War 3 um, and Gears of War 2 and 1, the original series, we, we uh, Epic Games actually ended up developing that series. Uh, and um, with Judgment, after they were finished with Judgment, they ended up, uh, uh, Microsoft ended up acquiring the franchise from Epic Games. And so now Gears is actually with the Coalition. Uh, Coalition's based out of Vancouver. Our studio head is Rod Ferguson, who's the, uh, the former uh, executive producer on all the original Gears games, so it's actually really cool to get Rod in there and, and get you know one of the original like you know 
co-creators of of the gear series helping us out and, and being part of the the whole process and he's part of all the different different decisions that we have so it's actually really really cool to be um in that that whole that whole system with them and hearing his thoughts and getting his take on everything what's nice is that like for us is gears 4 is most definitely like completely brand new we moved from unreal 3 to unreal 4 and that was part of the the big development process changes and we, we wanted to make sure that gears felt the same though we wanted to make sure that people that were fans of the original series and the original gears games would still feel at home with gears 4 and we did a lot of tools beforehand and a lot of work beforehand to make sure we created new systems things like that that could c carry over that movement the feel of gears and um, you know we, from the feedback we've heard from all the different fans and stuff everyone's saying that we we've really nailed it and everything and, and it feels like gears and everyone says it feels familiar and it feels exactly like like what they they missed from the the prior series so we're excited that everyone gets to try it out um, I, I can't wait maybe this last question do you get a message for fans that are still step skeptical about the change the development change and the new series uh, the new game yep yeah most definitely I, I will say that um, we we wanted to make sure that we ended up going back to kind of the roots of Gears. Gears 1 was very dark and mysterious and had that that suspenseful story and everything to it and uh, Gears 4 is very much goes back to those roots and we wanted to we want we want this is a brand new series this is a brand new set of characters um, uh, they are familiar because they're tied back to to some of the original characters and we think that people are going to really enjoy it like it, it feels like Gears it is Gears and um, you know it's it we, we can't wait for people to jump in so I, I recommend people to to give it a chance try it out um, they're gonna they're gonna kind of have those nostalgic feelings hit them all at once and I'm, I'm stoked to kind of see their reaction as they end up playing it because it's it's awesome it's it's uh, a ton of fun thanks for taking your time That's yeah great. thanks man appreciate it